Well, Afghanistan got a rare piece of good news earlier this year when mineral deposits worth more than a trillion dollars were found underground. That money could go a long way towards rebuilding that shattered country. But first, the government needs to get those minerals to market. This week, it is looking for bidders for a major iron ore deposit. And the country's finance minister, Dr. Omar Zakewal, was here in New York this week to drum up interest. I spoke to him and asked how much this mine could be worth. This could generate anywhere between 200 to 300 billion dollars for Afghanistan. It's enormous. How do you convince a major mineral company, a major mining company to come and do business in Afghanistan now? The biggest hurdle for us is the perception. Mm -hmm. um, the reality on the ground is a lot different. Um, the issue of infrastructure, for example, the, the big already quite a lot has been done, but quite a bit of infrastructure is being built with um, these type of investments. For example, the copper mine that we um, have given out to a major Chinese company, mm -hmm. as part of the deal is the construction of a major railway connection that connects the northern and central Asian countries with Pakistan. Um, so the same will be uh, true with these other major mines that has taken place. So if a major corporation wants to come in and um, drill in the country, they have to agree to build the trains and build the infrastructure pieces to get the of, products in pieces and out? Piece of infrastructure mm -hmm. that also contributes to other mineral resources. For example, the railway that we will be building from the north um, to the um, south and east, that the Chinese will be uh, doing this as part of their deal is also used for the second uh, iron ore um, uh, deposits so they don't have to do it. Afghanistan, you know, there's a lot of hyperbole in there when you, you have this find. Uh, lithium, one of the things found within the country, and it said that Afghanistan could be the Saudi Arabia of lithium, which is important for uh, yes. batteries for computers and the like. Yes. What's your vision of how these minerals could be used? We do expect this um, because of these resources. Um, we could be a prosperous country. Um, so that is that's is our hope and that is our objective here. Another question that's inevitably going to come up in your meetings is what's been happening this month with the stability of your banking sector. Um, there were images of frantic depositors lining up yes. outside of banks yes. trying to pull their money out because of what's happening with Kabul Bank yes. and these questionable investments made in Dubai and then uh, to uh, those surrounding Mr. Karzai. Can you guarantee the stability of the banking sector? Do you expect government support of the banking sector? The fact that the news got out, the fact that the panic was created was because the government took action. And because that action was reported or misreported, I would say. What but was misreported? The, the bank's chairman resigned because of those media reports. Yeah, not because of the media because of the uh, it, because of the action that the government took, not because of the media reports. The media reports came afterward, and they they were given certain interpretation, and that created the panic. But the good news is that because of the action that was taken by the government, and I've been involved in this, frankly. Mm -hmm is that that panic was not uh, penetrated into the larger banking sector. In fact, the, the, the larger banking, there are about 17 private banks, um, or 18 of them, um, and, and it was only this bank that was affected by it, mm -hmm. but that bank is also stabilizing. It so didn't collapse totally. So you're saying there will not be government support needed for these financial institutions? No, the government well, there won't, there's no bailout needed. There, there's no bailout needed. No, there's no bailout needed. There will be short-term um, interventions as we did with this, uh, the Kabul Bank. We didn't fear from the very beginning the collapse of it. We believe it was collateral. It is collateral. Uh, uh, sort of, um, it was um, solvent. It is solvent. That was uh, Afghan's finest, uh, Afghanistan's finance minister. He said, a bidder is a bidder, no preference given. If you're from the U.S. or China, Afghanistan wants you to come in and mind.